Today, Animate CC supports more document types than ever before. These include HTML5 Canvas, WebGL GLTF, 360 and Panoramic VR, and even desktop and mobile platforms. Let's have a look at what's available to us. When you initially open Animate, you'll see the Start screen. From the Start screen, you can see a number of intents. So here are some presets that we can choose which target character animation. We have a number of presets for social media platforms, for gaming, education, ads, and general web content. You'll also find here up top the advanced area. This is where you can choose from specific platforms. Here we have HTML5 Canvas, which targets the native web browser using the Canvas DOM element. We have two types of WebGL, GLTF, the standard type here, which targets only the WebGL, GLTF standards. And we also have an extended version of that, which uses the Adobe WebGL runtime. This allows for more interactivity and more animate specific features. Below that, we have VR Panorama. This allows panoramic virtual reality animations for the web. With Panorama, you can basically move back and forth across the y-axis. However, we also have a 360 degree VR. This allows the user to look around in full 360 degrees for their virtual reality projects. Then we have ActionScript 3.0 which is very useful for character animation and for those users who want to take full advantage of all the creative tooling within Animate CC. We have Air for Desktop for Mac OS and Windows Desktop Application and Game Development. This leverages the Air runtime. Following that, Air for iOS and Air for Android for those who want to develop games and applications that run on Apple iOS and Google Android. Note that no matter which target platform you initially choose, you can always convert to a different file type, simply by choosing File, Convert To, and then choose a different document type. 